On that first Easter, the women run to the disciples to share the news that Jesus is alive. And the men thought it was an idle tale. It can also be translated as nonsense. It was the women who walked to the tomb that early morning, remembering the horrific events of their friend Jesus' death, taking with them the spices necessary to anoint his body for burial. It was the right thing to do. We don't know if they were scared as they walked to the tomb that day. I would suspect so. If Jesus was killed for what he said and did, weren't the rest of them who followed him and believed in him also suspect. And when the women arrive at the tomb, instead of finding the broken body of Jesus, they find an empty tomb, except for these two men that are there in these dazzling clothes. Now the women are terrified, and they bow their heads to the ground, and the men say to them, why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he has risen Don't you remember what he told you, that he would be crucified and rise again? And the women remembered. Can you imagine how they felt? All that Jesus promised was true. He was alive. Can you imagine how much they wanted to tell the others this good news? Can you imagine how their hearts were beating with this news as they ran to tell them. Luke tells us that it was Mary Magdalene, Johanna, Mary the mother of James, and other women who were with them who ran to tell the disciples this news. But they didn't believe them. To this day, women's voices are silenced and discredited. To this day, not just the women, But anyone who speaks truth to power, anyone who questions the way things are when people are being treated unjustly, how many people in our society today tell their stories, speak their truth, and those hearing them dismiss their stories, try and figure out how the storyteller is making things up, it can't be true, Who do they think they are? There's just so many forces in the world today as there were back then, trying to keep us in the dark, trying to prevent us from believing that we can change and that new life is possible. You know, Jesus was crucified in an attempt to silence him and all those who follow him. We may not crucify people today, But we sure have some pretty strong methods in a variety of ways of silencing people and silencing the truth. But the women refuse to keep this good news in the dark. Those women on the first Easter morning overcame their fear, their anxiety, their worry, and whatever to go and tell the others that Jesus was alive. They refused to be silenced or sidelined. They chose to believe. They chose to be faithful. They chose not to lock themselves up behind closed doors. They would not be silent. And when they hit the wall of people that wanted to deny their story and deny the resurrection, they pressed on. Easter made a difference in their life. They were transformed. They were emboldened. They became courageous. They were the first to share the good news. He is alive. What difference does Easter make in our lives today? How are our lives transformed by the resurrection of Jesus Christ? How does Easter make a difference How do we find the courage, as those women did so many centuries ago, and find our own voice and speak the truth that we know in Christ? As Easter people, 
All of us are called to go and share love and grace of God that we know in Christ. As Easter people, we are called to go and preach the good news to the poor and liberty to those who are captive. Like Jesus, we are called to speak the truth that can open up the eyes of the blind, and we are called to honor the truth in those who tell us their story. On this Easter, in our time and place, we walk with Mary and Mary and Johanna and all the women and all the others so that we may be a testimony to the resurrection. May we not allow ourselves to be silenced in the midst of the chaos and death that surround us. May we not be silenced when we see people being treated unjustly. May we raise our voices and participate in actions that bring people into loving relationship with God and their communities, as Jesus did. May we speak our truth that we know in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that love conquers evil, that love can bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, and endure all things. Love never ends. May we speak it. May we go. May we tell. Thanks be to God. Amen.